uh, in this video we will see how we can read the secrets from secret manager I'm gonna read the secret in lambda function uh, let's create a lambda function and see how we can read the secrets from secret manager right now I'm in lambda I'm gonna click create function and gonna uh, give a uh, secret manager for my secret Then I'm going to use uh, Python for this one, but 3.7. Keep the architecture as uh, say as the default one. I'm going to create function. So I got the default uh, code here. I'm going to remove this code and i'm going to paste my code here so to connect to to connect to uh, the client manager i'm using boto3 function here boto3 library on uh, boto3 i'm using boto3 so here i'm going to give secret manager the secret name the secret name is uh, you have to take uh, give the arm from the uh, secret manager so in the secret manager i have secret this is my secret uh, sql secret i'm going to click on that one and get this arm from here this is my ARN. I'm going to paste the ARN in my secret name, and I'm right now in US2. So this is my region. I'm going to hard code these two values, and and I'm going to use the uh, border three session here. Um, this session equal to border three dot session. Then I'm uh, using a client here. Client. Then I'm using service name secret manager. I'm going to be passing the region as well as here region name equal to region name. Then I'm using a function here get secret value by passing the secret name here. I'm going to print this one. This one. I'm going to give a test here. This is my um, the event name we need to provide. This is a secret invoke. It's shareable then give this one I'm going to give a test now so it shows access denied exception so we have a role now that role we need to provide access to this one so that is uh, that's the reason it's got failed now let's go into a function and see the configuration here this configuration go to permissions so this is the role name right now I have Click on this role. This role should access to secret manager. So that is not provided. So we have to go to that uh, role and provide the secret manager access. So here click on click attach policies. And I'll click on secret here. So this is a secret right? So I'm going to click this one. Attach policies to this one. So now the policy is being attached. I'm going to run the uh, I'm going to run this uh, lambda function again. I'm going to do test again. So now we got the response here. See, so this is my ARN, and you have the complete values. You have the name, SQL secret, and you have the ID pass. Everything got this output in this uh, response. So in this way, we can connect uh, uh, the secret manager from lambda using the boto3 client. Pretty much for this video. Thanks for watching.